All right, we're looking out the south door and walking down to that first wildflower garden I talk about a lot where we planted this with the intention of sharing space with all kinds of other life because that's really what makes our life worth living, right? And so I want you to see here on this cup plant a whole bunch of red aphids. If we start looking around, you're going to see them on a lot of these plants. And it was interesting because I wanted to identify them and I did a Google search on it and immediately everything that came up was how to kill aphids. And that's all I could find. Except for uh, there was an ID on bug guide and they worked to get it to species but because there's not a lot known about a lot of aphids other than they eat plant juices is there's just not that many people doing it, so it's really hard to know the actual species you have. So they retracted and went back to genus. So I'm going to call these red aphids because I am not an aphid expert. <laughs> so before we witnessed um, all these observations online on how to kill them, we witnessed something else at our house. And I think it's the most important thing, and that's what I want you to come away with here, which is these plants are feeding all kinds of life. So we planted plants to heal the soil, to attract wildlife, and to feed the wildlife, obviously. To attract them, you're going to want to feed them. And that means giving them everything they need to survive, food, water, shelter, space. And a big food of a lot of birds and other life are insects. And so we tend to think about them, especially if you've read Doug Tallamy, in terms of caterpillars. And that's awesome because that's true. We see birds taking caterpillars to their baby birds all the time. But we have watched so many birds coming in here scarfing on the aphids. Yes, no joke. I mean mouthful after mouthful after mouthful of aphids. And so there's been song sparrows out the wazoo, just in and out of here constantly. Steve was the first one to notice it. And they came in here and they were stripping them and there were so many aphids they were eating. They would line up all along the outside of their bill and then they'd fly away, no doubt to feed their young, come back, get more, repeat over and over and over. <laughs> and so then we started seeing yellow warblers coming in here do the same thing and I'm certain there's other birds also there's insects so all different kinds of predatory insects will eat aphids they love them I mean you all know about the ladybug aphid relationship but also lacewings and different types of wasps we have seen in here now I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this it's not gonna focus let me try hey little aphids Okay, so there we go. Let me tip it up. You see all those? Those look like lacewing eggs to me. So if I got the ID wrong, I'm sure somebody will let me know. But um, it's one of the predatory insects, and they're here eating on the aphids too. So the whole point of this video is to remember that we planted native plants. And if you're planting native plants too, it's to feed wildlife okay it's to feed insects it's to feed other insects it's to feed birds it's to feed reptiles it's to feed amphibians no doubt we have toads and tree frogs in here they're singing every night i'm sure they're gulping these up so let's just see what happens we're not worried that there's so many in here there have been thousands and thousands and thousands devoured so i think it's really a matter of making sure you have enough plants I think the freak out often happens when you have one plant and then the aphids come and you're thinking, oh, but I wanted that plant to do this one thing. Well, maybe the plant wants to do something else. You know, just a way to think about it. So here you go. Red aphids feeding the birds. Free bird food. Y'all, that's incredible. Free bird food.